Hi, I'm Alex McRickard, and this is the Fishing Report for the month of January in Virginia. In this month's Fishing Report, we're going to highlight the importance of cold water boating safety, and then we're going to get out on the water with Dr. Mike Bednarski, our Chief of Fisheries here at the agency. Mike's going to cover tactics and techniques for targeting cold water largemouth bass, even in the dead of winter. We're also going to hear from regional fisheries biologist Scott Herman, who's going to discuss the characteristics of the largemouth bass fishery here at Lake Chesden on the Chesterfield Dinwiddie County line. With a little bit of persistence and patience, anglers that are willing to fish low and slow can still find success even in the coldest months of the year. When fishing during the winter months, it's essential that you dress for the elements and you're prepared. Even if it seems like it's a warm day outside, remember that water temperatures are cold. Cold air and cold water temperatures can put you at risk for hyperthermia if you do have an accident and you go in the water. I always wear a life jacket when I'm on the water, but when air temperatures get below 40 degrees, I like a traditional jacket. I know that it's going to keep me floating and it's actually an added layer of warmth while I'm on the water. A float coat is also another option. Um, not only is it going to keep you floating, but this added layer of, of warmth can cut down upon the wind when you're out on the water. This is a good one to have. I also always carry a dry bag with me. Um, in this dry bag, I've got a towel, I've got a heavy pair of socks, long sleeve t-shirt, I've got a sweatpants uh, and a sweater and then a heavier coat. I always have a dry bag with me because if I do have an accident, I'm going to be prepared to get warm and get warm in a hurry, which is really important. Also, you need to have a float plan when you're fishing any time of the year, but during the winter it's really important. Make sure you let a friend or family member know where you're going and where you're going to expect to be fishing so that they know how to get how to find you if they need to. I always have a cell phone with me while I'm on the water. I make sure it's charged and I make sure I'm going to have cell phone service where I'm going. And when I'm on the water, this is an otter box here, but I just keep it in any sort of dry box that you have. that can keep, keep your phone dry so that if you do need to get in contact with someone to get help, that's not going to be an issue. Again, uh, it's important to think about these things before getting out on the water during the winter months, and it's definitely important to not overlook cold water safety. Well, thank you, Alex, for that overview of cold water safety. It's something that you really need to keep in mind when you're fishing during the winter months of the year. And I'm here to tell you a bit about um, how to catch fish during the winter months of the year. It's one of my favorite times of year to come out. I really like fishing water temperatures between 38 and about 45 degrees, and I really like doing it out here at Lake Chesden, which we have in the background. And I want to tell you guys a little bit about how I catch fish in the winter and provide you with some information that hopefully will help put more fish in your boat. So one of my favorite things to fish during the winter months is a suspending jerk bait. Um, bait's about five inches long. What this bait does is when you bring it down and let it pause, um, it sits there level in the water column. It's a really great cold water bait and I really like a cadence where you twitch it once, count to five, twitch it again, count to five. Um, and that'll work even as the water temperature gets into the upper 30s. If you're having trouble getting bites, I suggest letting it wait a little bit longer, even up to 10 or 15 seconds. I like to fish that around deeper points as well as some deeper vegetation and rocks that you'll find in abundance in some of the areas of Chesden. And I like to throw that on a six and a half foot medium action bait casting rod, high speed reel, 10 pound line. Another thing I really like to throw during the winter months is a small jig or a small grub. Um, I really like a hair jig or I really like a brown grub on an eighth ounce head. Um, I fish these on six or eight pound line and I like to fish them on some of those points, some of that rocky habitat, um, anywhere between eight and about 15 feet of water. Fish them slow, fish them low as Alex was talking about and they'll do really, really well for you. Um, what I have here is the setup that I like for this. This is six pound line. This is a six foot eight medium action rod. And I like a rod anywhere between about six foot six and seven feet, either a, um, a six pound line, eight pound line, really good setup. And this rod is not only good for those small jigs, but another technique I really like to throw during the winter. And that's throwing a small swim bait. So I like to throw um, either a four inch swim bait on an eighth ounce head or a three inch swim bait on a 1 16th ounce head. And what I would do with these is a little bit different than some of the slower techniques you like to fish in the winter. I really like to keep these moving um, on a slow retrieve up in the shallows. Um, out here on Chesden in particular, you'll find fish shallow all winter long. And I do really well on these baits fishing anywhere between two and about eight feet of water, even in the dead of winter. And one more that I like to throw, and this is a classic big bass bait, and it works very well when it's cold, 
is a jig and pig. Really like a half ounce to a three quarter ounce jig and pig in a dark brown color with a brown or a black trailer on it. And I fish this around deeper rock, um, anywhere between eight to about 14 to 16 feet of water. There's a lot of rocky points in Chesden. It's a really great bait there. And I like to throw that on anywhere between a seven to a seven and a half foot medium heavy rod, 12 to 14 pound line. This is a seven foot three rod with a fast retrieve bait casting reel. Really great setup for throwing a jig and pig. And you know, one, one thing um, I want to point out to all of you is winter time can be tough and the fishing is, can be slow, but the fish can be big. So it's worth putting the time in. And anytime you can get out there safely during the winter, it's a good time to get out there because you might really surprise yourself with a big fish. And with Chesed in particular, one other tip I'll, I'll let you know, it can get muddy in the winter. When it gets muddy, you can go up in the creeks and find some clear water and you can catch fish shallower than you thought. When it gets a little bit clearer, that's the time to hit those main lake points. Um, if you follow this advice, um, I think you'll do pretty well and you may even run into me out here this winter. Here we are with a nice winter fish. So we're actually out here right before Christmas fishing Lake Chesden um, with a hair jig, 40 degree water, a little bit of stain to it. And it's important to remember that in the winter you can catch big fish on a small bait. I caught this fish here on a 1 8 ounce hair jig that I actually tied with uh, hair from my border collie mix. Um, it's a great presentation for fishing slow. Um, catch you fish in the middle of the winter during the cold times and just remember even a little bait will catch a big bass Let me get her back in see if we can't find another fish off of this point Hello, my name is Scott Herman I'm a fisheries biologist with the Virginia Department of Wildlife Resources and we're out here on Lake Chesden today I'm going to talk to you briefly about the bass fishery that's present Lake Chesden is one of the more popular destinations within Region 1 even in the state of Virginia a lot of anglers come from uh, various areas to come fishing here Primarily, they're drawn for to catch those solid numbers of four to six pound largemouth bass. And we see those bass in our surveys, and it's always a fun time coming out here in the spring doing our electric fishing surveys, seeing a well representative you know, segment of the population where you have good numbers of those three to six pound fish, a few sevens and eight pounders mixed in. I've heard uh, you know, council anglers catching bass up to 11, 11 pounds. So there are some really nice fish out here. One of the benefits of this fishery is the abundant gizzard shad population, a strong forage base that can provide all those, those healthy fish opportunities to grow to gr good size potentials. Lake Chesden over the years, we've seen pretty much about the last eight years, it's been the number one fishery within region one, district one, for preferred size bass. And those are those bass that are 15 inches and larger. And most of the fish that we do see out here are in that 18 to 20 inch range so you know towards the higher end of the preferred range almost reaching to the memorable status so a lot of fish out here for anglers to come out and enjoy whether it's out in the middle of winter catching some nice fish like mike's been catching or any other during the spring or early, early parts of summer there's a lot of nice fish for people to enjoy thanks for tuning in to this month's fishing report please comment below let us know if you have any questions about targeting cold water largemouth bass in the winter months we'll be happy to answer them and also we want to hear from you Please send us any of your fishing photos from 2020 and you could be featured in a future fishing report. Email us at social at dwr.virginia.gov. We'll see you on the water.